Hello and good morning. Welcome to fifth episode of three minute code with Volos. In this series, I am trying to teach you a few tricks and I'm trying to help you to start programming the CSP32 devices. And um, as I promised two weeks ago, today we will talk about screen brightness, which adjusting screen brightness is very important because these screens are too bright so it is necessary to reduce brightness there are two approaches when we talk about brightness sometimes board have a built-in power management chip which is in charge for powering all peripherals and so it is very often in charge to setting current and voltage of LED that illuminates whole screen. In the second most common and probably cheaper way, LED that illuminates screen are connected directly to microcontroller, in this case ESP32, and we are using pulse width modulation to, to change intensity of that LED. That so project we are looking at is very simple. Level of brightness is here and it is also graphically shown here and when I press this button color of button will change and brightness will increment and when I press this button brightness will decrement code is very simple less than 80 lines of code and on this part of screen i will also show you what which line do at the beginning we need to push buttons right button on the display s3 is connected to pin 14 and left is pin 0 I have two bool, boolean variables, so is left pressed and is right pressed. These variables are only used to change color of pressed button. So boolean variable can only be zero or one, and I'm using this variable colors to store two colors, zero, and one so if button is pressed color will be one purple if it's not pressed it will be magenta next i have variable bright when board is reset that variable is 40. later we can change variable bar is used to show number of bars i will talk about this later both buttons needs to be input pull out next we have init functions for our screen and here is part which will change brightness so we will set up our led to be on channel one frequency will be 10,000 and a resolution will be 8 bits. What this number means? It means that brightness can be shown in a number from 0 to 255. So max brightness if is 255. Because with 8 bits you can show only 256 numbers. And to this channel 0 will attach pin 38 because in our case background backlight LED on this board is connected to pin 38. And we will write to channel 0, we will write value 40. In a loop function, we will just read push buttons we will scale up 
our bright variable which can be from 0 to 255 to 0 to 15 and we will get number of these colored bars i hope this makes sense and also we will listen push buttons and we will call draw so if right button is pressed and brightness is less than 255 we will increment brightness and we will immediately set brightness of the screen to that value and we will say that right button is pressed so draw function will know to choose right color because when button is pressed also there is different color of this push button and same code is for if left is pressed and brightness is higher than one we will decrement set brightness and we'll put this boolean variable to one if it's not it will be zero same thing here and we will call draw variable so draw variable uh, sorry draw function so draw function will delete whole sprite it will align all text to center it will set white color of the text and it will draw brightness next it will draw this rectangle around the brightness and it will write value of draw value of brightness inside that rectangle with a large seven segment font next we need to draw this graph in the middle first we will draw this rectangle and each time we will draw all 15 these bars but we have number of bars in bar variable if i is less than number of bars bars will be in magenta in lighter color if it's not it will be in dark purple purple or and next thing we need to draw buttons first left button so this is x y coordinate width height and level of roundness and here is color that's why we have this bool variable so we have two colors and bool variable left pressed and right pressed can only be two, two states zero or one so if button is pressed it will be in one color if it's not it will be in other color uh, before writing text for each color we need to set background color to exactly same color button is drawn and then we will push our sprite code is free i will uh, share you so you can study it learn from it i hope you will learn something and i hope this was useful at the end i wish to thank you all it seems that this series is helping many people but i hope everyone can learn something new i also want to sincerely thank you thank thanks to all my supporters on patreon all my youtube members and everyone who occasionally buy me a coffee thank you your donations have helps a lot i also want to thank all the people that watch my videos very regularly thank you thank you thank you and that's it tell me was this useful do you want this series to continue tell me what you think 
in uh, comments. Your comments are, are also motivation for for not <laughs> giving up. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.